in a rolling green field just outside his country manor, 85-year-old Ken Wallace prepares to defy gravity. The retired British aviator and inventor is at the controls of his most famous creation. Though it looks like a helicopter, it's actually called an autogyro and flies like an airplane. Its rear rotor creates the thrust needed to stay aloft. I used to ride motorbikes at Fall Norton lots of times. I love speedboat racing. I love flying and aeroplanes. But I love these things more than any other because there's no such precise way of going flying that I know. And you get the feeling of flying, especially if when you're up in the open, you can feel the wind and so on. It really is, in my opinion, the best way of all to go flying. In 1967, Wallace flew an autogyro named Little Nelly in the James Bond film You Only Live Twice. The gadget was a flying fantasy. It wowed audiences and made Wallace and Little Nelly famous throughout the world. It's entirely chance the way it came about. Little Nelly was the chorus girl that became the star. <laughs> Since 1961, Wallace has built 19 autogyros, each with their own strength and flight characteristics. Well, we're in the politely called hangar, with, where I have 19 autogyros of my design, of which 18 would literally fire up and fly straight away, including, of course, little Nelly. How an autogyro flies is based on simple science.